Hi, I'm Frank Anderson, and I'm thrilled to be sharing with you the release of my new book, Transcending Trauma, Healing Complex PTSD with Internal Family Systems Therapy. This is a book that I've worked on for a long time. It's honestly a culmination of my career in some ways. I've really integrated the basic steps of internal family systems therapy as they relate to the treatment of trauma, particularly, but not exclusively, complex trauma or repeated relational violation. These are some of the most challenging and difficult clients that we tend to see in our practices. These are the clients that get called borderlines, the clients that have dissociative disorders, the ones that are called DID. So these clients are challenging for us. They activate our own internal um, intimacy issues and they can be very triggering for us. So we'll be talking about the ways that uh, these clients can trigger or activate therapist parts. We're gonna be talking about the different types of trauma, not only relational trauma, but we'll be looking at acute stress reaction. We'll be looking at developmental trauma, PTSD and dissociative trauma. We'll be breaking down the steps of the internal family systems model. And I'm gonna show you specifically uh, some tricks of the trade, if you will, in the ways to use the model specifically with clients who have trauma histories, because there's a lot of roadblocks that come up when we're working with clients and their extreme symptoms who have trauma histories. We're also going to be looking at attachment trauma. It's one of the issues that I think is the most challenging and the most common that show up in therapist's office is attachment trauma. So we're going to be looking at the unique ways that internal family systems deal with attachment issues and can heal these sometimes pre-verbal, unconscious, very young attachment wounds, which are very, very challenging for most therapists. We're going to be look at, looking also at common adaptations to trauma. So those typical responses, those extreme responses that clients have, suicidality, internalized perpetrator parts, critical part, substance using parts. We're going to be looking at the ways to overcome those roadblocks and to work with these extreme symptoms of self-loathing. We're going to be exploring shame and all the different shame reactions as they relate to relational trauma. And we're going to be looking at vulnerability. Next, which I'm really excited about, is we're going to be really talking about the integration of neuroscience internal family systems as it relates to the treatment of trauma. So we'll review the neurobiology of trauma and dissociation, and we're gonna be looking at some neuroscience informed interventions, particularly that can help people overcome um, relational violation and wounding. We'll be looking at the last section, which really deals with healing relational trauma. And that's one of the things I love about this model is it really has a healing component, that there's a way to permanently heal some of these relational wounds that clients struggle with. So we'll be talking about an expanded version of different types of wounds that I've commonly seen in relational trauma and the different ways and types of unburdening or healings that can occur. I'm also excited to be talking about legacy burdens, which are burdens that we carry from the family of origin and also spirituality. It's one of the things that's important to me um, is integrating and incorporating spirituality into internal family systems and healing trauma. One of the things that was very true to me as I wrote this book and as I've worked with clients for many years is that trauma blocks love. And love, in fact, heals trauma. So I hope you'll join me on this journey. And thank you very much for listening. Have a great day.